Also developing the Strip District, that's where emergency responders filled the streets after an ammonia leak. Now, it forced workers outside, sending one person to the hospital. Amy Wattis is following this story, and she joins us live from the Strip District with the latest. Amy. Christine, this happened at Consumers Produce here at 21st and Railroad in the Strip District. Now, ammonia filled the air, and one person from a nearby facility was sent to the hospital. And as you can see now, the streets are back open and the scene is clear, but things looked a lot different this afternoon. The assistant fire chief says contractors were performing maintenance on a system in the building when the leak happened. They were able to quickly secure the leak, but public safety crews say you could smell the ammonia in the air, comparing the odor to a really strong window cleaner. This system and the, uh, the control room that's in place, they, they've got a, a great ventilation system that's taking care of 90% of the problems. Uh, we're again just letting that residual numbers go down. City of Fire officials say this isn't the first time they've been called here for a leak. They tell me they've been here a few times over the last two and a half years. And back out here live, you can't smell the odor anymore, but fire officials say the sunshine and the breeze helped to dissipate the residual smell from the ammonia. Meantime, everyone is back inside the building here in the Strip tonight. Reporting live, Amy Wattis, KDKA News.